The weekend has been on a legendary run since 2020. With the release of After Hours and its follow-up Dawn FM, Abel has really explored the world of synth pop and taken on this electronic 80s style synth heavy sound to big success. That new sound is best heard on bangers such as Out of Time, Gasoline, Blinding Lights, I can go on and on. And to many fans excitement, we have one more album on the way with that electronic sound that is set to complete this brand new trilogy. However, before we get that third record, Abel will be releasing an entirely different project. Coinciding with the release of his HBO series The Idol, The Weeknd will be releasing a soundtrack for the show this summer. While many people were at first turned off when they heard that this upcoming album from The Weeknd was just going to be a soundtrack, Abel has proven that this isn't going to be your typical score for a TV show. With the release of the lead single Double Fantasy, it's clear that Abel is treating this soundtrack as he would a proper album, and fans, following the teases for this project, are hype. Additionally, Abel has recently been working heavily with the legendary producer Mike Dean. The synth god has played a pivotal role in Abel's new sound, having recently taken Abel's recent live performances to a whole new level. And fans are beyond excited to see what the duo cooks up in the studio, with Dean being the executive producer for this upcoming album. So today, with the show's premiere just under a month away, let's run down everything we know regarding the Idol soundtrack and explain how exactly The Weeknd and Mike Dean's relationship came to be. I suppose it's best to start this timeline out with the After Hours Till Dawn tour. The tour's first leg spanned throughout the summer of 2022, and Abel sold out just about every single stadium, performing classics and bangers off Dawn FM and After Hours. Now the man behind the set list and overall vibe of these shows was Mike Dean, who not only opened up for Abel during every stop on the tour, but also is responsible for remixing those classic EXO tracks and adding the awesome transitions during Abel's performances. Now first off, if you don't know who Mike Dean is, he is a legendary producer from Houston, Texas. He absolutely shreds on guitar, but is most known for his work on the keyboards with synthesizers being known as the synth god. He is also very much responsible for some of the most iconic tracks and albums released over the past 20 years, having worked very closely with Kanye West and Travis Scott during the entirety of both of their respective careers. He is truly an unappreciated gem in the music industry who really deserves his flowers, which Abel has been giving him, constantly posting him on his Instagram stories and even retweeting clips explaining how Dean got his start in Houston. Mike Dean first performed with The Weeknd at Coachella 2022, shocking the EXO fan base with his awesome remix of Often, but their history goes a lot deeper than that. To my knowledge, they first collaborated in 2013 as Kanye West was working on the album that would later be named Yeezus. Now as I said earlier, Mike Dean's worked with Kanye for pretty much Ye's entire career, and he's played a pivotal role in just about every one of his albums, with Yeezus being no different. Abel would be featured on a track titled Hades Dog, which would go through various alterations and have numerous versions. On one version of the track, Mike Dean would follow up Kanye and Abel's verses with a nearly three minute insane guitar solo acting as the outro for the track. The song would not end up on Yeezus. Kanye planned on putting it on his 2015 album So Help Me God, but that idea was scrapped and eventually Ye gave it to The Weeknd. Abel would release it on his 2015 album Beauty Behind the Madness and the track would be renamed Tell Your Friends. Although Kanye and Mike Dean's additions to the song would not be included in the version that would make Abel's album, with Kanye's verse being shortened with like a weird vocoder effect, so you really don't even know it's him unless you've heard the leak, they still would be credited when the song dropped, and Mike Dean would even put out his version with the guitar solo on SoundCloud. Additionally, the two would share the studio in 2015, as Abel would provide vocals for the Kanye track FML, that would later be released on Ye's 2016 album, The Life of Pablo. 
Along with featuring on various Kanye albums, The Weeknd has collaborated a lot with Travis Scott, who like I said, just like Ye, has worked with Mike Dean for his entire career. Abel has been featured on all three of Travis's studio albums, having vocals on a total of four tracks. These songs are Pray For Love, Wonderful, Skeletons, and Wake Up, all four of which were produced by Mike Dean. Fast forward to 2021, when Kanye has Mike Dean held hostage at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium trying to finish Donda. Out of all the songs expected to be on that album, there was one track in particular that was really highly anticipated by hardcore Kanye fans, to the point where Ye and Mike Dean were literally on Kanye subreddit discords, asking fans what their preferences were for the track. That song, of course, being Hurricane. Kanye would originally perform the hook on the version that fans heard at that first listening party. And it just... With the new effects and everything, this version didn't exactly sound right. And Ye would call up Abel to have him feature on the track. The next time fans would hear this song, it would sound completely different. With The Weeknd being the perfect addition to make this version of the song a classic. Finally, continuing on the trend of Abel working with Kanye, it is known that he recorded during the Donda 2 sessions in early 2022. While next to nothing is known about what the weekend features are, what they sound like, what tracks they're on, we do know that Mike Dean was heavily involved in the studio sessions for Donda 2 in February. Coachella occurred in April of that same year, so I'm assuming that this is the point in time where Abel and Mike Dean talked about collaborating. Having worked together musically at various times, yet never specifically for the weekend, Mike Dean and Abel would perform together, as previously mentioned, at Coachella. With Mike Dean providing live guitars, insane synths, and epic transitions in between tracks such as Hurricane and The Hills, the duo clearly worked well together and it wouldn't be the last time that they shared the stage. As previously mentioned, Mike would be brought on the After Hours Till Dawn tour to open up for the weekend providing a perfect synth spacey vibe to set the tone for Abel's set. While on tour, Dean and Abel would bond together, and Mike Dean actually said in an interview with Variety that this is the closest relationship that he's ever had with an artist. Along with opening for Abel, tracks off Mike Dean's Smoke State 42222 album would play prior to Abel's set. It's ironic because the album wasn't intended to be made for that, but you know, you have that time to fill while the fans are waiting, following Kei Trinata's set, and they're setting up the stage. It just fit perfectly. However, Mike Dean's biggest contribution to this tour, without a doubt, was his work on Abel's set list. Dean would work with Abel to bring his synth sound to the After Hours Till Dawn tour performance, altering the weekend's tracks to fit the electro energy and even mixing the live album that would later release in early 2023. With Abel venturing even deeper into that electronic synth-heavy sound, it is absolutely perfect that he started working with Mike Dean. And while on the road, it would be reported that the duo was working on The Weeknd's next album during the tour. This album, although at first speculated to be the third installment of the After Hours trilogy, would actually be the soundtrack for Abel's upcoming HBO Max show, The Idol. Now back when the After Hours Till Dawn tour was in session, fans in attendance would be shown a preview for this HBO Max show prior to Abel's performance. This program, starring The Weeknd and Lily Rose Depp, is a drama series which focuses on a cult leader who's played by Abel, who manipulates an aspiring pop star with promises of superstardom. The show is co-written by Euphoria director Sam Levinson and is a really interesting step for The Weeknd in terms of expanding his career outside of just simply music. While production on the soundtrack began during the After Hours tour, it would soon be confirmed by Abel himself on social media that production continued following the tour's conclusion. On January 29th, Abel would post pictures of himself with Mike Dean in the studio, leading fans to realize that The Weeknd was entering a brand new era in his discography. Now, as I said previously, a lot of people thought that this record Abel was working on was that third installment of the After Hours trilogy. However, he would soon clarify things very soon. In March, the Dawn FM era would officially end with the release of an HBO Live concert special. 
The program would provide HD footage and audio of the weekend's entire performance of a concert during the After Hours Till Dawn tour. This date for a show in California at SoFi Stadium. Along with the live concert, Abe would drop a live album on streaming titled Live at SoFi Stadium, which would be mixed by Mike Dean. With Abel announcing that the Dawn FM era had officially come to a close, and also teasing new music with those posts in the studio on Instagram, a lot of people assumed that The weekend was entering the third and final stage of this After Hours trilogy, with the title assumed to be Afterlife. However, they didn't know that Abel planned on releasing that entirely separate project in between Dawn FM and the third installment of this new trilogy. Yet, at the end of the day, although they didn't know the specifics at this time, there's still hype and it was validated because The weekend was teasing new music. Mike Dean affiliate Tommy Rush would further tease fans regarding The weekend's upcoming album in early April, posting a picture of aliens on his Instagram story and hinting at an electronic sound for this project. Abel would start posting pictures of John Lennon and Yoko Ono on April 4th, which we would soon get context to. On April 10th, Abel would go live on Instagram and play some new songs with Mike Dean, expected to be on this new project. One of the tracks teased would be Double Fantasy, a song with Mike Dean playing the saxophone and a feature from Future. Abel would also shine a light on those cryptic Instagram posts by playing a track in which he covered John Lennon's track, Jealous Guy. Now during this live, Abel would accidentally show a notepad, which featured not only the title for this upcoming project that Mike Dean, The Weeknd, and everyone else in that studio was working on, but also a list of some tracks. The title of the paper read Idol Score Day 4, giving fans finally some confirmation that this music being teased by Abel and likely releasing very soon was set to be the soundtrack for that HBO show. Now the list of tracks on this paper aren't exactly 100% readable in the highest of quality, but doing my best, the track list reads, Like a God, One of the Girls, I'm a Good Man, Jealous Guy, Double Fantasy, Fill the Void, and Take All of Me. Further confirming that this new music was for the soundtrack, Abel would post a video from the studio captioning the post, The Idol Volume 1, Coming Soon. Now it's unclear whether or not it's called Volume 1 because it's for the show's first season and there's likely to be more seasons of The Idol, or that they're going to release the soundtrack for this first season in multiple sections, which seems kind of weird to me, so I'm thinking it's just Volume 1 for Season 1, but obviously time will tell. Regardless, Double Fantasy would be performed live on April 14th at Coachella during Metro Boomin's set, with Abel dressed as an alien singing those awesome vocals and Mike Dean playing the sax live on stage. Four days later, on April 18th, it would be revealed that the idol would be released on June 4th of 2023. With the show releasing in June, it's likely that this soundtrack is going to release at around the same time or even on the same day that the show officially drops. But the whole fans over before that June date, Abel would release a Double Fantasy as a single on April 21st with the track featuring Future. A music video would be released for the track as well, giving fans a first taste of what they can expect from the soundtrack as well as the show. While fans now expected to wait till June to hear more tracks from Mike Dean and The Weeknd, more music would come. A week after Double Fantasy released on streaming, Abe would take to Twitter to announce that he would be executively producing Mike Dean's upcoming 423 album, releasing that week. 423 by Mike Dean, would release on April 28th with four tracks featuring vocals from The Weeknd. Now anyone familiar with Mike Dean's solo work knows that it's not like a lot of the music he produces with other artists. It's mostly just beats and synth heavy instrumentals and it's mostly just like it's an experience, it's a vibe. But Abel's touch on this album is definitely felt in a good way. He adds his touch with his vocals but doesn't take away from the overall atmosphere that is the Mike Dean experience. And while the Mike Dean project isn't on par with your traditional weekend studio album, it's really comparing apples to oranges, it's the perfect prelude to what this idol soundtrack is going to sound like sonically. Just as Mike Dean's opening set was to Abel's performances on the After Hours Till Dawn tour, this 423 record perfectly preps fans for what they can expect with the idol score on the horizon. 
This past Wednesday, it was revealed that the soundtrack will have a song featuring Blackpink's Jenny Kim. Now she's a K-pop star, and Blackpink is a very popular group, but I honestly only know them from that Destroy Lonely line on No Stylist. But regardless, she played the track at her Calvin Klein party, and I for sure am hyped to hear the song in full. We got a single, we got a track list, we even heard some tracks that have yet to be released. And from everything Abel has teased, this soundtrack is something to be hyped for. Unlike traditional scores for TV shows or movies, which are usually just purely instrumentals, this soundtrack seems as if it's going to be full of full-fledged songs, even with features, similar to that of other studio albums by The Weeknd. Undoubtedly, there's going to be just tracks that are purely instrumentals, but after hearing that Mike Dean 423 album, even those songs are something to look forward to. With the help of Mike Dean, the score for The Idol seems like it is going to be outstanding. And hopefully, the show impresses as well. With their work together on the After Hours Till Dawn tour and that 423 record, The Weeknd and Mike Dean have certainly proven themselves to be an incredible duo. And I, for one, can't wait to encounter whatever synth-heavy experience they produce in the near future.